All right, guys. Now we are staying at an Airbnb, but it's a big old compound and it has like multiple houses on here. So like what, six houses? So there's like six, house, six houses on this compound. And we be trying to figure out like, where when did it start and like just all types of stuff but but i mean i'm just so it's not every day you see trees like this man i mean these trees are like so huge and you i mean don't walk up to that tree like i'm serious like this thing is huge like this tree at least have to be how old is it more than 100 years old Look at that. And they all just surrounding, surrounded everywhere. Be careful, maybe some snakes or something. Spiders. <laughs> That's how I go. But yeah, this tree here is just so huge. It's big, it's like multiple trees that married each other. And then they're just so fat and just so good. It makes you just want to give a big hug, but you can't even. I know. You know what it looks like? It looks like a dinosaur's foot. Dinosaur food. You remember like when we went to Thailand? Oh, okay. And the life size dinosaur. Oh, okay. <laughs> this looks like a, heat, a big old tree to me. I'm just saying, like, look at the stump. I mean, but you guys, if anybody out down any, anybody out there know about trees, you see how big this tree is. Um how old do you think this tree is? I know you guys probably can't tell too much about, you know, anyway, with the camera. It doesn't do it do it any justice, but I'm gonna say 20 years. You tell me. Anyway, this is another house. Yeah, this is another house on a compound. The compound is huge, guys. They go to in there and then there. Do you know what it feels like we're staying at? Mm. A unique Airbnb. What? You know, you've heard of those Airbnbs that they, call, they, they consider them unique Airbnbs? Mm. This is a unique one because mm. it's like a big compound with many different houses. At yeah. least it feels unique to me. It is. It's very unique. We've never been to an Airbnb before where it was multiple houses on one compound. The one compound. You know, that's essentially what it is. Like, yeah, this is our place right here, guys. So, um... Yeah, we can just show them the, our main place we like. Yeah, our, the snippets, because like I said, it, it needs an upgrade. It does. Bad. Yes. So, we're just going to do like a, our favorite spots. Yeah. That's it. If you want more about it, I guess you can just go to the comments and ask. Our favorite spot was right here. The patio. Oh, well, however you call it up here. Architecture is amazing. You come sit right here, night lights, a nice dining set, lounge chair, and of course a pool table. Even, you can just see how it is when you peek inside, it's just open. But, the view is what's so nice. Also, I mean granted we don't have the beach view, but you know it's just right there. The other house, so. So the place we are feeding could have come out. Yeah, you pull it and now they're drying it. Oh, and this is the factory they're making it. Take it to the south or in the loop. Yeah. What's going on, guys? On our way home, back home, we decided to stop in Mombasa. Um, so right now we're taking a little stroll the streets in Mombasa and we're on our way to uh Fort Jesus. Yeah Fort Jesus. So that's the plan for today. And uh Fort Jesus I get we will give you guys a little bit of history of Fort Jesus as we go through it. Old port is 
slave markets, the village, and the spice market. All those are historical sites which are free to see. Except for the forts to go inside, for non residents they pay 1200 For East Africans, they pay 400 For Kenyans, it's 200 If you are Kenyans. You see, the Arabs came from Oman in the 19th century. They intermarried with the natives to form Swahili. Sahil in Arabic means host. Sawahil, people living along the coast. The Arabs, all, all the people living from Oman to Mozambique, they call them Sawahil. And the national language is Swahili. It's a mixture of Arabic, Portuguese, German, Indian, English, and more than 12 more Bantu dialects. We have a little tour guide who's gonna walk us through the facility. I assume is he? I'm not too mm -hmm. sure. He's a tour guide. Yeah, he's a tour guide. So he's gonna walk us through and kind of, you know, explain, you know, That's some history. of the, some of the history to us as we go along, so we can kind of understand what we're looking at. But um, so far, it was pretty much like the Portuguese, the ones who kind of came. The Turkish had it before, but the Portuguese didn't want to lose the the power that they had around the the coast. So they came and fought with the, um because in Malindi there was a king, so they told the king to come over here and fight for this fort, and they mm -hmm. did. So we're gonna try to capture as much of that history we can for you guys. So as we go along through this. You guys can learn a little bit of the history with us. Yeah. So, come on. They built it like this intentionally? It was an order from King Philip of Spain. He inherited the throne of Portugal in 1580. Mm -hmm. So, the architecture was an Italian. So, he resembled it like a shape of a human being lying down with the head facing up. And as I told you, it took three years to construct it. They hired 4,000 locals and they paid them by giving them only food. That's why it took three years. Giving them what? Food. That's why it <laughs> took three years. giving them food? Yeah, only food. One lunch or the <laughs> Like a ration of one. This area right here was where they set up their bows and the boat, they, they arrows, huh? Bows and arrows. Bows and arrows. And sneak they attack. put a little, yeah, sneak attack. Or if somebody was trying to come up on the come up on the throne, they can hurry up and before it, they can attack them right here. Which is pretty cool. Just come on up over here with their bows and arrows. They put poison on it too. Put poison on them. Boom. First I thought it was for cannons, but you think about it, cannons on the ground, like you were saying. Yeah. Okay, they were so strategic. Whenever they, this is where you have, the circle is for the arrow, the bottom part is for the bow. So everything lines up. I guess there's no worrying about shaking the wind or nothing. But it's still strategic. I, they really be. thought about it. Mm -hmm. they, they knew they were trying to protect something, you know? Mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth was here whenever she found out that her father died and became queen. Crazy. Oh, when I say here, I mean by the, where you see the green and the red roof over there. Oh, and then Prince and Kate, Prince Edward and Kate Middleton were over here when they got engaged. This is the watchtower, guys. Right here that these guys used to climb in and see. You climb in and see what's going on over here. Okay. One, it's nice to be at like a historical place with a guy. You learn a lot. <laughs> This place, this fort was of course the place that was conquered. Then eventually it got turned into a prison. And so whenever it got turned into a prison, this ended up being the actual kitchen where they would be making their foods. You put firewood there. This is the chimney. 
And that's how you ended up making your food. was made in 17th century. It was made in India, but it was made out of Portuguese style. Portuguese style is flowers, but in the caviar of it all. I'm telling you, just seeing it, you just realize like the preservation that they kept for these is just amazing. And the detail is phenomenal too. And then if you look at this real quick, this is the chest that they used for keeping all their like, belongings because they didn't have things. Oman was the one. Oman had a really big presence out here, but they would get soldiers from Balochistan to come and help whenever they were ready to remove the Portuguese. This is how the soldiers were back then. Ki Swahili is the national language, but Swahili means people that live along the coast. So that's why whenever they say Swahili people, it's a lot of people in the coast and it's been so influenced by different cultures, different countries, that it's it can be just, you never know who it could be, you know, because the Chinese, this Chinese has been intertwined with the Kenyans, Portuguese, Arabic, Arabic people, you know, just so many. So Swahili people is like a multitude. It's cosmopolitan. A lot of people, you know. A lot of information. I'm really enjoying he knowing all this information. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I really did not realize the influence that the Omans had over here in the beginning. And the Balochistan that I was pointing at, right now, it's like where... Iran and Pakistan is so it's somewhere there. I mean, it's not like the actual name, mm -hmm. but that's where it used to be at. Yeah. Whenever they had captured the fort, like it says, they dug it to like 76 feet, 23 meters, but the water is only salty. I get, then the reason why it's salty is because Mombasa is on an island. Oh, it's hot. Oh, goodness. But anyway. Of course, if you dig down here, you're only gonna get salt. But when you go to the mainland, that's when if you dig down and to do like a borehole, you can actually get clean water. Talk about a nice view <laughs> <laughs> as you're using the bathroom. And enjoy the breeze. <laughs> so pretty much, it was the toilet. You sit down, and it goes down. At least you didn't have to squat, you just sit down. It's true. This is a young one? Uh, 19 to 24 years. So 19 to 24 years, wow. Yeah. And you know, for this amount, mm. the milk is 50% fat and it's pink in color. There are lots of Norwegians, Japanese hunting birds. Mm. Yeah. Wait, so they hunted they, to eat it? No, they hunt mm -hmm. for parts. Oh. And you said how much again? 48 what? 48 feet. This is where the prisoner stayed. 15 people per cell. Yeah. What's heavy like, like that? Oh. Yeah. Can you try and lift him? Mind your feet. Yeah. <laughs> like the short <shirt. laughs> Some kids are playing. 
Oh my god, this is heavy. Yeah, it is. Woo! I can feel it. Like 15 <laughs> kilos. Hey. <laughs> yeah. It's more than I should put. You see that flag? You can in. imagine yeah, they comes out like three of this and the ship is wooden. So when they struck, mm. they smash it. And mm. the ship mm. also will be getting in. So eventually it will sink. Mm. And then you can reach the kind of the powders to make that kind yeah. of fry. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like gunpowder can also explode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because like up here, these pigs were Most of money, they came here in 2017. Their big guys came here. And most of them spoke French. Mm. You know, Dubai used to be part of Oman. No, I don't know. Yeah, Dubai used to be. Oman is really old, but it's neutral in a foreign relationship. Mm -hmm.